is Nick Diaz. It's hard to quantify his contribution to mixed martial arts. I will just lead by saying that this man brought a lot of fans into this sport, and when he fights, the building's still packed to the night. Yes, absolutely. Nick Diaz has a fan base that will follow him through anything, and rightfully so. He won the Strike Force Baltimore Championship, defended it in a ton of crazy fights knocking out Paul Daly, knocking out Marius Oromskis, yeah. and then coming back to the UFC and getting wins over BJ Penn fight, George St. Pierre, and then also sharing the octagon with Anderson Silva. So it was only big fights for Nick Diaz because he was such a star and such a draw. And sometimes people lose sight of just how good he was in his prime. 2008 to 2011, Nick Diaz won 11 consecutive fights. Nick Diaz. on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight. We would be talking about a one-round fight, because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab. The head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle. He's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Some oh, people think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Kill the date for this, our main event of the evening. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nick Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Tom Reese! Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one. Ready. Good. A pro dating to 2001, here is the veteran Nick Diaz, former UFC title challenger. 13 wins by knockout, another eight by way of submission. You know the book on Nick Diaz, it's gonna be punches and bunches, but if the fight does hit the canvas, you've gotta protect yourself. We'll see how it goes for Nick Diaz in his much anticipated UFC return tonight. Good shot, good Trying to establish the jab early on here. Yes. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This will be a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. Oh, my goodness. What a kick. Jab hurt him a little bit. Big right hand there. Play shot there, DC. He is officially rock. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Oh! Oh, body shot. Oh, Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go with this. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Because now he's motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. 
Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. The overhand left is true. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Breeze gets hit with yet another left to the head. That's a big target, and the opponent landed it. You gotta flip his hip into that kick. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Under a minute now to go. Just gotta be careful here. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Breeze is in half guard. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. There's an elbow from the top by Breeze. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. All right, you're ready. It perfectly, perfect placement, perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Water got to start looking for the finish here. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved that. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side. He's pitching. Oh, no way he got out. He was able to create enough space to get his chest back flat on the mat and defend that arm triangle. Unbelievable. <laughs> starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. The one-two punch is true. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. He's hurting them bad, man. That right hook is nasty. They're going out of here. Huge shots landing on both sides. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Going to the body now with that hook shot. Nicely done by Breeze. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this. Oh, Big right hand. Left hook right hand. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. He starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. 20 seconds to go round two.
I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Reese. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.